put them in quotations Say what you need to say 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 champs of the ACC and we're going to get a couple more uh, interviews we're going to have Ryan Young when we come back one more quick break we've got Ryan Young so stay with us we talk about one of the key players there and how this team has rallied around the death of his mom Ryan Young one of the fastest players if not the fastest player he joins us right now Ryan as a senior you've got to feel great about the opportunity to take this team another level even farther you've got the ACC crown but this is a great start to a postseason yeah um when, uh, the, earlier this year, my uh, mom came into the coach's office and met Coach Summon together. She said, uh, Coach Summon, uh, my one son, Kevin, has an ACC championship and national championship. All I want is for my son, Ron, to graduate and to get an ACC championship and a national championship. So uh, I'm trying to graduate, got one down, and uh, one we're, for off, free, yep, Ryan. we're fighting there right now. So uh, we're hanging in there. and. Uh, our team couldn't be more excited to uh, get this win. Well, the team is rallying around you forever young. You got exams now, Ryan, coming up? Uh, a little bit later. We uh, end a little bit later than these schools, but, uh, yeah, they're coming up soon. All right, well, good luck at exams. Appreciate and, uh, it. This is a great honor. Your ACC champion. And the senior from Manhasset joins us now, Ryan Amy McEnany, along with Paul Carcatero up here in the booth. Congratulations on the win and advancing here in the NCAA tournament. Thank you very much. It feels great after all the hard work we put together. And, uh, Looking forward to uh, playing Foxborough next, next Sunday. Well, we are now joined by the senior attackman, Ryan Young. Two goals and three assists. Now, Coach gave us the politically correct answer, said it didn't matter at all, unseated on the road. For you and your teammates, how much did that fully fuel you here today? You know, uh, when we saw we thought that maybe we could have gotten the, uh, one of the seeded games, but when we saw it, saw it that we uh, were coming down here to an ACC foe, you know, we, we kind of got all jacked up and we didn't let us slow down, us down at all. We uh, kind of fueled, it kind of fueled our fire. Offensively, Ryan, I thought you guys were clicking. Drew Snyder was in the mix, Kevin Cooper. Uh, what did you do with the week preparation uh, leading up to this contest to kind of take the pressure off the injured Joe Cummings and Greg Catalina? Well, we know that uh, Carolina throws a bunch of different things at us. So one main thing that we focused on during the week was to um, <clears throat> make sure that when everybody got on the field, we set up and we all knew what we were doing. So uh, that kind of helped us a lot. And when they got their opportunities, they uh, stuck them. And from there, is uh, kind of a blowout today. All right, Ryan, thanks a lot for the time. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the way. Ryan Young leading the way with five points for Maryland as they advance to the quarterfinals. Who will they face? That will be decided later tonight on ESPNU. Nico Amato with a big game in the cage. The offense coming through with 13 goals. The Terps advance. Let's send it now back to Lowell and Quint in the studio. But this is the play of the game. With two seconds left and when it crosses the goal line, only one second. Scott LaRue on a Ryan Young feed. You look at the defense right there, laid back, lethargic, thinking that the quarter is over, not so fast. That you have to attack the cage right there, there was uh, some type of bench miscommunication, but they got things rolling, senior to senior, Grant Catalino, the biggest goal of his life, off the feed from Ryan Young. Ryan Young, the heartbeat and catalyst of this Maryland squad, he has been huge the last few weeks. Ryan Young the senior for the Maryland Terrapins, emotional leader of this squad. They have been so close for the senior class. Three straight losses in the national quarterfinals, but this is a breakthrough, a winner in overtime, and as a result, they will stay close to home to play for that national title. They will be in Baltimore. Big reason why? The play of Ryan Young. Maryland senior attackman Ryan Young. Ryan, you guys are going to championship weekend, but it certainly had some drama. Uh, what was your reaction when Syracuse tied the game in regulation? Uh, you know, we were very confident. We've been confident all game. That was our strength today, and uh, I 
on defense, you really took it to them, like, holding Syracuse to five goals is an incredible feat, and, uh, you know, Grant Catalina made a terrific shot, we ran a great play, and uh, from there it's history, we're going to the Final Four for the first time since 2005. Getting the win in overtime during that extra session, what was the difference for the Maryland Terrapins? Um, you know, I think that we just had our chip up, the chip on our shoulder that we've had all year. You know, we didn't get any respect, we didn't get seated. Uh, you know, we had to take a bus down here, so ten hours. You know, we kind of had that chip on our shoulder, and you know, we didn't pay for it, and uh, that's, we're trying not to stop right here. What your class has been through, what you have been through personally, what this Maryland lacrosse program has been through. Describe the feeling getting a championship weekend. It feels incredible, and the support from all the alums, all the players, all the parents. And I've never felt better right now, but uh, hopefully we can keep this rolling next week and uh, take home some hardware on Memorial Day weekend. Brian, congratulations. We'll see you next weekend in Baltimore. Brian Young of the Maryland Terrapins. They advance the championship weekend next Saturday in Baltimore. It seemed like one of the more physical games that has been played this season. Yeah, um, we know anytime you're playing Duke, no matter what sport it is, both teams are going to come out swinging. So we knew that if we matched their intensity off the starting whistle, that we'd have a good uh, chance of winning. We got all the tough ground balls, and uh, from there it was history. It seems like you guys are just playing with more passion each week. What continues to drive this team? Um, you know, we've had a chip on our shoulder since day one. We uh, didn't get the ranking for uh, the beginning seeds for the NCAA tournament, and we took it from there. We took it upon ourselves to kind of uh, play with a sense of uh, pride, and uh, from then we've kind of uh, just been extremely emotional, and uh, we like the way we've been playing. What's the mentality going into Monday against another team that you're pretty familiar with? Um, you know, wh whatever our coaches tell us tomorrow, they have a great game plan, and we're just going to stick to that. I think that if we do that, we'll have a good chance of winning.